Hey guys, I welcome you all to this session by K21 Academy, where we're going to take a look into creation of an SQL database using Azure Studio. So in this session, we have taken a clip from a training program where our expert trainer will demonstrate to you how to perform a CURD operation on a SQL database based on Azure Studio. So without any further delay, let's quickly start this session. So I have logged into portal.azure.com and uh, you all can subscribe for Azure. If you are seeing Azure portal for the first time, you can go to portal.azure.com and you can basically log in over there once you have subscribed for the free trial or uh, maybe you're using the Azure Pass, which K21 is providing to you. Any one of the, those two things. So now this is my Azure portal and I have logged into portal.azure.com and I have logged in with my user account. So to use Azure for the first time, you can go ahead and create free trial of Azure. And once you have signed up over there, the portal will look something like this. And let's create one uh, SQL database. I'm clicking on this create option and I'm searching for. So when you work with Azure, you basically a couple of uh, uh, if you're if you're seeing this for the first time, couple of FII information for you. Uh, basically, the navigation bar on the left hand side is good if you dock it. So you can dock it from here in the setting like this. Secondly, uh, some cosmetic changes are there. If you click on these the, the themes over here and you can choose the one which is more suitable to your eyes. Now, when we work with the, uh, the Azure portal itself, you can navigate on the left hand side. You can also click on create a resource from here and create something new. You can also create something new. And if you're not able to find anything, you can search on the top search bar. And over here, you can search for any service which you want to create, but you're not able to find the name of it. So I want to create one SQL database, which is uh, which is an example of uh, relational database. And we will create one table over there and we will load some data inside inside that table. So I'm clicking on my from here. I'm clicking on SQL database and I'm just clicking on add option from the top. So uh, now for the first time, it does not matter which Azure subscription it shows shows to you over there. Basically, you should see something over there. If you don't see anything, it means that your Azure account has not been activated. You can further go and check it how to do that. Now, uh, let me create one resource group. Resource groups are just, uh, you can say, collection of uh, uh, resources. So my first resource group is called as my first SQL database resource group. And uh, I'll create one database called as first uh, SQL uh, DB. If the name is available, that's great. The name is available. And let's click on the server part. And here I'm uh, creating one server over there. So we are basically working with platform as service. So that's why you can see that we are, uh, we don't have any infrastructure service right now. This is platform as service. So we are creating one logical server over there. So let's name it as first SQL server and let's randomize the name. So it is globally unique. And I'm giving some username and password over here. And uh, with this, we will try to log in afterwards. So, and location, you can select the location which is as close as possible to you. Or basically, it also depends on uh, your subscription in the free trial of Azure or if you're using any other type of subscription, maybe all the locations, all 60 plus locations are not whitelisted. So make sure that you have selected some location which is whitelisted. Or if you are not sure, you can go for uh, East US or you can go for Southeast Asia as such. So right now I'm going with Southeast Asia and I can simply search it like this. Uh, and there is no space. So Southeast Asia, you can select and just say, okay, over there. Now, when it comes to pricing, uh, let's go, go for the pricing is not the real concern right now in our training. However, I'm going for the basic pricing and I'm going for something which is as less as possible from the top. I just say apply and uh, I'll do one more thing. I'm clicking on this locally redundant backup storage. Not much relevant right now. Just click on it. If you see these, uh, if you see this radio button over there in uh, in advanced trainings, you will understand what's the meaning of that. And I'm going to my additional setting and I'm clicking on sample database. So what so by selecting the sample database, some tables will all will be will already exist in my database and uh, so I can show you that these tables are already present and we will be able to run some queries against that. So let's click on create and let's say create. And this is the first SQL uh, uh, database which is coming up and the job is now submitted. 
and it's basically saying deployment in progress it will take a couple of minutes for it to do that so let's hang in in the meantime so it took some time for the database to be created however now it's now ready so i'm clicking on go to resource in case uh, your page refresh or you're not able to find it you can simply go back to your resource group section and you can find your uh, database from uh, the name of the resource group which you have created so that's the name which i gave so this is my first sql server if i click on it i'll find the database inside it i can simply click on uh, the database option which is somewhere on the bottom over here and you can click on it and this is your database so if i want to connect to my database i have to do a couple of uh, settings first i have to click on the firewall setting we'll talk about this slightly in uh, the next module however you can click on this add client ip from there and you can also click on allow azure services to access this server you can click on these two options so what it will do it will whitelist your public ip address in this point in time to the uh, to basically the server over there and secondly uh, by enabling this azure allow azure access service azure services can also talk to the database we will need that particular setting in one of the module later on so i am doing both the things at right now at the same point in time and just click on save after that once this rule is saved you can simply scroll back and you can find query editor and in this query editor you can give your password over there and if you still remember your password you, you will be able to log in as such so let me try this one more time and let's see if this is the correct password uh not really so it seems i forgot the password so let me show you how to reset it anyways that's one good thing which just happened you can click on uh, you can just go back to the file server and in the server setting there's option to reset the password and let's try one more time so in case just like me you forgot your password uh, or maybe you mistyped it two times uh, previously then this is basically how you reset it and it will say that it's resetting successfully done let's go back let's connect one more time so and this time i know exactly and check this out so that's called as uh, let's make it bigger you can just scroll there is a scroll bar on the bottom uh, bottom of the page and this is basically uh, the query editor i want to make some tables in sql so i copy the syntax i have this syntax already created with me and it's basic uh, table creation syntax as such so i'm creating uh, four tables over there one is person table second is student table third is course table and credit table four tables are there so let's create that and uh, so uh, as we selected the sample database when we were creating this uh, when we were creating sql so we will see lots and lots of tables over there but we right now we are only concerned about the four tables which we have just created manually so out of these all the tables this uh, that and this and the student table these four tables we have just created and others are just populated from the sample database which we selected and uh, now let's go and push some data inside uh, the first uh, database and inside the four tables which we have created let's do that now what am i doing i have uh, uh, so i have this data basically in one of the folders in my laptop and the data is basically uh, we are going to use one utility from sql called as bulk copy program now in case you have data in bulk and you want to load that data into the cloud platform into the azure sql we can use bcp so i have installed bcp you can google up for bcp and uh, sql bcp and install it for your operating system or just have a look over here so i found the data it's in my desktop so this is the data which i have i have four files over here and these four files they uh, consist of the data which i want to push inside uh, the sql server which i just created inside the four tables which i have so i will go to the command prompt and i'll change my directory to that location and uh, these are my four files over there and now when we work with bcp 
basically the structure of or the syntax of BCP looks like this. So let me open Notepad. That's the syntax of it. I have this utility installed in my laptop and it is basically saying that BCP in course table from sam uh, in sample course uh, data is the uh, we can say the name of the uh, file over there. So in that table from this source uh, server name we have to give database name username and password uh, as such. So let's do it. So the server name I will find it from Azure. I go back and my server name is this. I go back and I make this syntax. So let's do this. And uh, you can also just say replace all. Now I have done this four times. Database name is over here. That's basically my database name. And uh, let's put the value here. So like this username is MS admin, MS admin and uh, so like this and the password is a dummy password. So basically the password which I have set is basically this dummy password and uh, like that. So let's replace these values. Okay. So, uh, okay, let me I'll put it back again. And uh, let's re remove this and let's put that. So I think uh, it looks pretty good. And uh, let's try to run this. So I copy all of it and I go back to the command prompt and from the command prompt I'll run this. And uh, it is saying that thousand rows sent to SQL server total ten uh, sent thousand. So thousand 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 all the places and if we go back and let's right click on uh, student table and uh, we can select you can just say select star from student and let it respond. So you can see that I have this data which is now got pushed inside this table which I just created. So this is relational database one example of relational database in Azure. Azure SQL and the one which I just created was platform as service database and we created four tables over there and using BCP utility which is one of the utility which is one of the utility you can have many more ways by which you can uh, push data but this is one of the utility by which we have pushed thousand rows in each table so four thousand rows pushed like that. All right guys so this was a small insight from one of our programs over here. And I hope you enjoyed and heard to learn something new. To give you a better understanding of how our program is structured, let me give you the learning path for this. So first off, this programming is divided into eight weeks. In the first week of your program, you'll be dealing with the roles of Azure Database Administrator. Moving on to the week two, you'll be learning about planning and implementation of data platform resources. Here you'll be using LAS, PaaS, and database solution on Azure. Moving on to the week three, you'll have to implement an, a secure environment. And then in week four, you will see how to monitor and optimize and operational resources. In week five, you'll try to write optimized query performance. And then in week six, you will try to automate your task. Moving on to the last week, that is the seventh week, we'll have plan and implementation of high availability and disaster recovery environment. Once you're done with all the seven weeks and then you're done with the course, right? But we are going to provide you with something else. We're going to provide you with tips and resources to clear your Azure database administrator certification. And then we'll also help you out with CV preparation, some sample interview questions, and some basic question papers for your administration exam. All right, guys. So before you try to invest in this course, we'll also provide you with a free class over here. And in order to access this free class, uh, the link is pretty simple. Let me quickly show you how it can be done. For this, let me move to my web browser here. Okay, once you're here in your web browser, try to type k21academy.com 
slash BP3002 and then hit enter. Once you're done with this, you will be provided with this page over here. And based on your availability, we have classes on Mondays and Tuesdays and on different times. To demonstrate to you what I'm going to do here is let me come down. Let me select the date on Tuesday. Okay, uh, you can give your name over here. Let me put here as K21 Academy. All right, and you can also give your email address here. Let's say K21 at gmail.com. And then finally, you can provide a cell phone number uh, based on the location you are at. You can change the country code for that. So we are located from in India. So let's put down India over here and then save my seat now. Once you're done with this, you'll be provided with this page. OK, you'll have an agenda over here wherein we are going to see the content that would be covered and then some GIF. This, this would be basically a free course over here and then you will be provided with an URL. Once you click on the URL over here, you will be directed to a Zoom page and then you can access your course from there. All right, guys, with this, we come to the end of our session. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any further queries, please do mention them in the comment box below. Until next time, goodbye and take care.